Keith. Kyle. Oh, there's Knuckles, and he's like, I'm gonna go in here. Is it your buddy Knuckles? Yep. You wanna play buddy Knuckles? Sonic and Knuckles. The third level in Sonic Generations is Sky Sanctuary Zone. Which is, uh, it's an interesting choice. Is it's it? not It's not one that I expected. You're saying that they threw a curveball. Yeah. Well, because... Not a fastball. This is one of the few, maybe the only, levels in Sonic Generations that came late in one of the games rather than early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it, it wasn't, instead, you know, it's like, a lot of them were just like, the first level! Second level! You remember Green Hill Zone Chemical Plant? Yeah, who doesn't? Why wouldn't you? I was kind of expecting Marble Garden Zone. So it kind yeah, of fit but a with lot of like, people don't like that level. That's true, but it has a good look. It does have a good look. And it, and also, the look is kind of similar to this one, too. That's and true. It, and that kind of, would kind of fit with, like, uh... With, like, Green Hill was, like, the first level of the first game, and Chemical Plant was the second level of the second game. Marble Garden's going to be the third level of the third game. Kyle, stop looking for patterns. I'm just saying. Don't need no stinging patterns. This part sucks. Get him, get that. I mean, this this part is metal. cool, but it doesn't, doesn't really work out. Ah. I bet. See, what? Ah. Yeah, it does seem like it's a little too far over. Fuck! Fudge. I didn't mean to offend with my harsh language. Why did I do that? I don't know. It was silly. Kyle, you're silly. Mm. Silly goose. Oh, did I have to hit this? No. Yeah. No, no, no just come I, uh, I, um... What? Like, my... I want to hear about you? I have a brother. Uh-huh. And he's, like, really young. Yeah. He's seven. Yes. He's a lot younger than I am. It's a little bit younger. It's 13 years? <laughs> um, yeah, 7 to 13 is not long at all. It's like 5, 6 years. Yeah, 6. Or 13. I, Sorry, how old are you? 12. I'm not 12. I'm 12 and a half. Um, okay, so, yeah. So he's got... He's got a, he's got a Wii. Oh, yeah. And he's, he's also... He's got an Xbox, but he never uses it. Right, because all the gold's on the Wii. All the gold's on the Wii. Yeah, that's kind of my point. He's got so many really terrible games. Oh, man. And he's got, like, like little kid syndrome where he do doesn't want to take my advice on which games he should be buying. Like, does he not want to because, like, he actually doesn't like the games because, like, they don't align with his little kid taste? Or is it... No, he's just, he's just being stubborn. Like uh, he just like he like, he just wants to make his own decisions. Yeah, that's it. He wants to make his own decision, decisions, and those decisions lead him to love the games, uh, the the Coraline game and the SpongeBob SquarePants game, both of which are f terrible. I didn't know these. Wait, I was gonna say I didn't know they still made SpongeBob games, but it's that, a it's a it's a of it's course, older. Of course they do. It's like a three. It's like a two three year old oh, game. Maybe they did kind of stop. I know for a while all of THQ's revenue was coming from their Nickelodeon games. Right. But then they kind of stopped doing that. Oh no no! It wasn't that they stopped doing it. It was that they stopped selling. They used to sell like okay. Wildfire, and now they don't. Well, he loves those games, and they are because ev everyone besides your brother smartened up, I guess, or I don't know how that worked. I don't know. Um, but like. So, I wonder if SpongeBob is that like losing popularity? Is that still as big as it was? Um, I don't know. My, I don't think, I don't think he's as into it as he was. Like, I wonder last if year. it was one of those things where like all the kids that were really into it like grew up, and now there's not as many younger ones that still like it. Well, I think it just, I think it just doesn't have as long of a staying power. Like I liked SpongeBob for years. I never liked like it. Like when it first, when it first came out. I guess not for years, for a little while. Um, but it was super popular from between like when I was ten. And like last year. <laughs> anyway, so I I was going to I had to go to GameStop to return ah. a bunch of games. Um, yeah. And Ken was like, Ah, let me come with you. I want to get a game for the Wii. And uh, 
I was like, perfect. You were now like, I can mad, be there. You were like, you gotta play Mad World. No, no. I we we went and I like I was you like, were like I can I can conduit finally, too. I can finally convince him to get better games than the games he has. I could see you not being great at uh, persuading a seven-year-old, and I don't mean that to be like I'm no, no I'm good at it. Really? Yeah. I kind of like I'm good with kids because everyone in my family's a teacher. I've kind of got it in me. Um, I would never want to do that, but I'm pretty good at it. Are you sure? Yeah. You know, um, I don't. Again, I don't mean to offend. You don't seem incredibly tolerant. I'm I'm super tolerant. I I don't know. Oh, about children. That. Okay. Anyways. Anyway. Singular. One way. Oh. Um. See, that's what I'm saying. You're so inflexible. You're like it's just one way. <laughs> my way. <laughs> um. This is taking so long to tell this goddamn story. You better tell it fast. F but I, after, after about 15 minutes of trying, of like, desperately convincing him to not get a uh, Phineas and Ferb game for the Wii uh. and uh, a a Disney, oops, a Disney game oh, for the fuck. Connect. Yeah, that's the thing. I think the kids they just want, they just want to play. Games of things that they read. No, but listen, I I finally convinced him to get oh. a a Lego game and oh yeah a Lego game and also uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. He hasn't been playing the Lego game. No, he hasn't. What he, the fuck? I, I was like, oh, your kid, this kid. I'm telling man. you, every game he's ever played is terrible. Oh man, like, he doesn't have. It's not like most was of like, the games was he playing are bad. Did They're he all bad? Did he pop in? For, did I, he? Did he pop in like Lego and Indiana Jones too and be like, "Holy shit, video games can be fun." And then he popped in like the like one of the more recent Lego Harry Potters, but oh, he's okay. been playing he's been playing Kirby's Epic Yarn like nonstop since he got it. That's I was a pretty like, good game. Yeah, it took me like but it took me like 20 minutes. I was like, "Kevin, you should get this one." And he was like, "I don't like Kirby." I was like, "You don't even know who Kirby is. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about, you idiot? You fu you idiot? <laughs> I don't like Kirby." <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Like the only, the only other good game he owns is he's the not copy even... of Super Mario Galaxy that I got him, and it took him months before he started playing it. Oh wow! Yeah, this kid's got problems. Yeah, and but then like I, are, are your parents looking into this? Are no. you getting him help? They don't understand. Are are you getting him professional help? This, uh, this sounds like a developmental issue. But yeah, so as like he, like. He keeps playing Epic Yarn. I woke up this morning. He was playing. Uh, he was playing Lego Harry Potter, and I was like, "Finally!" Is it one or two? I fucking fixed him. Uh, one or two. Two, I think. The more recent uh, one. Oh. Why? If you had one, I tried. I went there with the oh, initial. Oh wait, wait. I was... went there with the initial idea of, of convincing him to get Lego Batman two. Oh yeah. Um, he couldn't be convinced, or was it? Just he could not money? be convinced. Yeah. Wait. So he. Oh, okay, but he. Yeah. Does he? Know Harry Potter? Is he into Harry Potter? Or what? He knows Harry Potter. Yeah, he's but into like, Harry Potter. Just, he's he's into the he's into to the Potter movies. He's not into Batman. Yeah. Um. No. 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 He's. I mean, he lied and said he wasn't into Batman. What? I'm not into Bat Yeah. He's like, I I know Batman. I just don't like Batman. And I'm like, you're. First of all, you're lying, you idiot. You're a kid. <laughs> See, I'm I'm great with kids. You fucking idiot. You're lying. <laughs> um. That is. That's bizarre. I would really. I want to understand that. That's so strange. Yeah, it is strange. But I think he's coming around because of how right I am at, about it. I was gonna say, if it was Lego, uh, if it was Harry Potter one, we could play online. But it doesn't matter because it's the Wii version, and um, the, the Wii doesn't have internet. It anyway. It it was the thing that drove me. Play the thing him? that drove me crazy was like he was like he was trying to tell me like like. Keith, I know you know about video games, but you just don't like your interests are different than mine. You don't you don't get what us kids are into. Yeah. It's it is, it is kind of hard to explain to people sometimes that like video games aren't like movies. Yeah. Like every it's, it's why like mo uh, like uh, movies are and music are way more up to like personal opinion whereas like there are a lot of game there are things about games that are objectively good or bad. Right, it's why, it's why, it's why, like, almost every review of music and movies and books are all... It's all different. Like, totally, like, totally super, like, crazy subjective, yeah. but for the most part... That's, that's why nothing on, nothing on IMDb has a rating higher than, like, 8.8. .8. Yeah. 
Like, that's literally the highest rating any movie has, and it's like The Godfather or something. Yeah. Not a fan. See? Case in point. <laughs> Also, the controls are so unresponsive. Yeah. Have you? Did you play Lego Harry Potter with him? Uh, I played a little bit of it with him. I played. You know, I played a bunch of Lego with him. Those Lego games have that dynamic split screen. Yeah, it's neat. But the the problem with it though is that when you're not playing with two people, there's a constant um, like press start to press start for player two flashing on the upper right corner. Oh yeah. It's the worst. I've never found that to be that irritating. I don't know. I haven't. I honestly haven't played a Lego game since uh, Lego Star Wars One. Uh, Which yeah, is I, why I'm really, really, I really want to play Batman too. Yeah, I played Lego Star Wars One and Two, and those were awesome. And I like them so much that I bought them again. I played them on PS2 and then bought the Complete Saga One, which was like their uh, eight, their HD update that was put out on 360. Mm -hmm. But that was those games are so much of like a like no challenge collectathon that by the end of the complete of finishing the complete saga I was like so worn out that I didn't play it again until years later and then I bought Lego Harry Potter 1 and I was pleased to find out that they had gotten a lot better than the original Star Wars ones the problem that I've seen and I only I only saw like 10 minutes oh why am I still playing this level I meant to stop oh because you were talking about oops interesting stuff well see we're so good at this that we can't even stop ourselves oh god can't stop won't stop can't stop won't stop more powerful than ever like so many paper cups in my hand. <laughs> Hashtag going ape. <laughs> now that I know how to use this insta shield, this boss is a breeze. Oh. I like the eye. Oh, wait, now I remember. The hard part of this boss is after. Fuck. Well, we've already established that we don't need to... Oops. ...be playing it. No, I need to beat him now. Oh, okay. Watch out for that terrible laser beam. You know, this boss might not be hard. I might be misremembering this. You do that. It's one of your special skills. Misremembering, misremembering the video of boss. games. What? Yeah. Hey. Hey. What are on. you talking about? It's kind of like. Name one other time. All of them, I think. Are you being serious about this? Yeah. What is? What are you talking about? Yeah, you're always like, oh, I totally forgot about this part. Oh, and you don't? You thought Star Fox 64 ended with shooting credits. Yeah, but you were, I mean, you were shooting stuff, and Star Fox is in that game. <laughs> not at the end. Not yeah, at the, the end, end of the, the game. Credits. Not in the credits, no. That was Smash Brothers. I know it's in Smash Brothers, but, like, you shoot stuff in the credit thing. Oh, right, Star like Fox it. is in Smash Brothers like every other Nintendo character, therefore it's a Star Fox game. You're right, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Hey, I mean, it's if... Some, whatever, fuck you. <laughs> uh, let's... Are you saying that Mario Kart isn't a Wario game? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Sega All-Star Racing with Banjo-Kazooie. I'm excited to see uh, Sonic... <sighs> Fuck. The worst title in the world. The worst fucking Sega title Sonic. in the world. Sonic, Sega Sonic All-Star Sonic, Sonic. Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing with Banjo transformed. I'm, I'm interested to see what the sequel is. Yeah, because like, the first one was almost a lot of fun. That was almost so much fun. It was pretty good. I, I, the character unlock system was interesting. It was just a huge pain in the ass for our purposes, which yeah. were just play with a bunch of crazy characters for half an hour and then stop. Yeah. So that apparently we could have bought yeah. a bunch of characters and we didn't even know. I didn't realize that. Yeah, because it wasn't saying like you got what were we using to buy stuff with CP? Was that what it was? <laughs> CP child pornography. <laughs> yes. I think I think child pornography was the currency in that game. No, it's probably Sega Sega Miles. It was Sega, Sega Miles. Miles? You know, like the the frequent flyer currency in the Sega Airline. Sega Miles. Yep. Yep. So the interesting thing about playing as Knuckles in uh, Sonic 3 is that he, he... Wow, longest story ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> is that uh, he, he takes a lot of alternate routes. Uh, the idea being that it's because Knuckles lives on the island. He knows all the sweet 
Can spots. Yeah. I don't know if we ever got a chance to show this part up, but like, he has the power to break things without spin dashing into them, so he can just walk and it'd be like, boom, like that. Nice. Hey, let's remember this. Remember these things? Yeah. Remember this? Totally do. Let's do it. Aw, oh, man. You, as Knuckles, you'd have to get the red ones. Oh, yeah. I think I... I think I felt... I, I think that was a thing that I thought when I was, like, a kid. I was like, it would be awesome because he's red. You should be getting the red things. Yeah, because the only reason that you get the blue ones is because Sonic is blue. If you look, there are so many red ones, it would make no fucking sense. Oh, no, I mean, just just do, like, a, but just do it, a yeah, swap. If they swap the colors, that would be kind of funny. So was there anything else with your brother in that story? Man, Epic Yarn is good. I was trying to get you to play Epic Yarn with, with me forever, and then you just play with your brother instead. He's cooler than you. He's not. He's a dick. <laughs> oh! Fucking perfect. Cause I, I, asked should play, I should play Epic Yarn with my sister. Because I was like... I, I was... I was... As kind of a... Um, as kind of a test to get him to say... Uh, that Whoa, his, that ah. his favorite game for the Wii was... Uh, was... Super Mario Galaxy. I was like... Hey, Kevin, what's your favorite Wii game? This is before we got the stuff to be like, see, I got you that, so now you should listen right. to me again. And instead he was like, Coraline, and then probably SpongeBob. And I was like, fuck, oh my god. Something's busted in your stupid... You should have got a Mario Galaxy 2. It probably would have been easier to sell him Galaxy 2. Galaxy Maybe. 2's awesome. Galaxy 2's awesome. I think there was one... But he's like, he's not even close to done with Galaxy. Yeah, whatever. Galaxy 2's so much better. I think there was one lunatic in the thread who was trying to tell me otherwise. Get the fuck out of here, that guy. You're crazy. That was his username, that guy. Probably well, was. Yeah, it See, was, but as he did have like red tats this. Says, I'm that one guy that hates Mario Galaxy 2. See, check it out. The boss is different with Knuckles. Yeah. I went this way instead. And now it's this guy, and it's like a harder version of this guy. Ow. Because he has fire like that. And the bombs come down like this. Oh, fuck. Didn't he have fire like that before? You're right. Didn't, he didn't have bombs, though. He didn't have the bombs, though. The bombs are new. The bombs are new. Yeah, people who think uh, the first galaxy is better than the second galaxy are in some kind of weird weird state of denial I don't even understand. But it, it is a lot like a an expansion. Yeah, an expansion that's way better than the original game. Some shivering aisles. And also it's got Yoshi, but not like shitty Yoshi, like a good Yoshi. Like a good Yoshi that you jump on. It's got on, all these Yoshis. Right oh around. man, it has the, those, the levels with the, <laughs> yellow, the yellow Yoshis, the way they work, yeah. is that they're like lanterns that give off a glow. Yeah, great. But instead of it being like you're in a dark place and you can't see anything except yeah. for where the Yoshi is, instead it's like you're in space and anywhere that Yoshi's light does not shine doesn't exist. I was hoping that you'd tell me about Yoshis. I was, I was going to ask earlier, but... Like, hey, Kyle, what do you know about Yoshi's you can tell me? I recently played Super Mario World. I talked about that already, but that had different color Yoshi's that did some stuff. Cool. I should play Mario Galaxy 2. I never played it. It's so good. It doesn't waste I your fucking time. It. it doesn't waste your fucking time with the overworld bullshit. We played some co-op of it. Co-op in quotes? Did we? What? Yeah, we did. Or maybe we I got, just, like, took turns. I got all, like, whatever it is, like, 255 stars in that game. I got all of them. Happily. That's Happily so many stars. And then in, like, the very last, last, last star, yeah. that's, like, super, super hard, was, like, the first time I ever listened to My Brother, My Brother, and Me. So, it, it like, that one level took me, like, three hours to beat or something like that, but I just got to listen to Mabim Bam the whole time. That was magical. Yeah. You stopped listening to that, didn't you? No, I... You, you, you kind of, like, catch up on I, it? I go in and out. I don't catch up, I just, like, listen to whatever's newest. Okay. That's kind of a bummer. They've been some really good ones recently. I've, I've listened to the ones recently. Oh, okay. Been good. <laughs> like, uh, which, which one... What are you talking about? Um, I can't remember specifically. Great. That's super helpful. Listen, I hear listen... the live one? Which one? 
the one that was live. There's been three of those? But the most recent one that just happened. Yes. At Max Funcon. Yes. That was very good. What, what the fuck? <laughs> like, um... Well, you said live one. Well, we were... Oh, but, like, we were talking about recent episodes. Oh, okay. So, like, <laughs> recent episodes? I don't know. What about the live one? Which live one? <laughs> the most recent one. Oh, yeah, that one was great. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Oh. I hate that rhino. Oh, what's, what's that guy's called? Uh, I don't remember. Ah! He's called the big jerk, is what he's called. Don't stand on that bridge. He's gonna destroy it. No, I got this. <laughs> oh man! I was you close. Barely got this. This guy's pretty tough. Well, no, he's not tough at all. But he's significantly tougher than his uh, robotic counterpart. I mean, his Sonic counterpart. I don't, I don't have a fire shield. Is still... No, it's that's the Robo Robotnik. Oh. That's the Robo egg, Botnik. egg Robo or whatever the fuck. Get it, get it. Nice. I was gonna say, I should play. Uh, I should play Kirby's Epic Yarn with my sister. Yeah, why is that? Because. Because uh, she likes like, yarn. She, she's like, really. She's home. It. She's home for the summer. And a couple times she's asked me like, "Hey, what's a game? We should play a game." But like. And I really appreciate that she, like, wants to play a game with me, because that's pretty cool. Yeah. Because she's not really, like, a video game fan. But, um, like, I just don't... Like, I don't... I mean, A, there, there's a lot less, like, cool multi... Cool local multiplayer games nowadays. And, like, I don't have any of them. Even the ones, you know? Yeah, there's very few. Especially because her... She's, like, one of those people, like, she doesn't want anything, like, remotely challenging. Like, like I... When I... <laughs> when... When I uh, when I bought my PS3, I got a copy of Little Big Planet and an extra controller because I was like, because I knew that she would really like Little Big Planet because it's so like cute and fun, right? And she like, and I was like, let's play it, and we started playing it, and she really liked it, and we were just going through the single player campaign, but like the moment it got to a platforming section that required like the most passing, like skill or like precision in platforming she was just like out she's like i can't handle it it's too stressful i'm like it's fine we can like if you just don't make it you just try again and like you just try until you beat it it's not this isn't even a hard part and she's just like no it's too stressful i can't do it so you're saying that she's a perfectionist <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh but kirby's epic yarn is Super easy. I don't even think you can lose, can you? You can get like a bad no. rating, but you get. I don't think it rates you. Well, depending on how many gems you collect. Oh yeah, it does rate you at the end. Um, yeah, you just they when you die, you just kind of become like a ghost, and then wait, you can die? I mean, you can get hit by a dude, and then die, and then you turn into a ghost, and then it brings you to the center really? of the screen, and then you you're still alive. Yeah. You never die, I don't think. Oh. I don't. Even think, it's not even a ghost. You turn into like a weird parachute. Yeah, and now that I think about it, Kirby's Epic Yarn is the most adorable game. It's the most ador adorable thing in existence. Oh, it's it is much. ultra charming. It is uh, it is cuteness incarnate. Yeah, it is the opposite of Super Meat Boy in every way. There are parts of Super Meat Boy that are cute. Nope. Yeah, there are. It's a nightmare. Oh yeah, you super hate the art style of that game, don't you? Yep. I don't understand that at all. That has a great art style. You're weird. Maybe you're weird. No. No? Why is it me that's gotta be wrong? How come maybe you're wrong? Mm. I don't know. Even though I don't like the art style of it, I don't think you can call it cute. It's like, it's purposefully grotesque. Well, that's, that's what it trades in, is that it goes back and forth between cute and grotesque. Maybe they're just that, bad at that's that. That's like its thing. You know, like you see an adorable squirrel and it's so cute, but then it dies in a horrible way, and then that's horrifying. Yeah, but doesn't that kind of cancel out the fact that it was cute, that now it is a pile of goop? No. No? I think so. It's... Kyle, I think we just have different philosophies. I'm just saying there are cute things in Super Meat Boy, it's just that most of those things die in a horrible way. Right. It doesn't mean that there isn't anything cute. Yeah, you know how people in a uh, epic yarn die? They get turned into strings of yarn that poof, and it's adorable. Even death in that game is the cutest thing there's ever been. 
I wasn't disputing Epic Yarn's cuteness. No, you go back. Go take a left. I know. Yeah, there you go. Remember when you were like, I always get all of these. And then you, you're you like, I never didn't get one. And then you, you'd lost one of these. You remember that? No, yeah, but I still got it. Yeah, you did get it eventually. I got it later. Yeah. But you're like, I'm fucking so good. But I did get him. I, I thought got I got them all. I thought that your point was like you never even. No, that was just you misinterpreting what I said. Me and one army. Hmm. Ah. Hey, you've got the easy shield. Ah, oh, lost fuck. it. Thanks for jinxing that, you dickhead. You mean like how jinxing exists? Yeah. It's like what I mean. Like how jinxing exists. You got him. So what's, what's going on? With this. Uh, I think we're about done here. Sweet. Maybe I'll escape from the wall. Dun, 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 dun. By the way, when you say jinxing like that, it sounds like some kind of devious sex act. <laughs> so there's this girl? Like, I like really Keith, want to jinx I her. told you I don't want to hear about your jinxing exploits. Oh man. Just want to fucking jinx her. No, no, you have to say jinxing. I'm saying. I'm way into jinxing. Oh fuck. I forgot he could just run through those. You can just be like this. Ah! This music is so fucking good. It's all right. This is the level. It's all right. This was the level they should have. Whatever. I'm sorry. Kidding. <laughs> this was the level they should have taken from this game. I think they did that for the 3DS version, which unfortunately we can't show because there's like no way to capture from a 3DS or emulate it. I've I even got they one, should... which doesn't help at all. Yeah. Wait. I mean, it, it it helps in that you should buy Sonic Generations on 3DS and then play it, and then when you're done playing it, you should let me borrow it. So, so in that borrow way, it would, it would help me play the 3DS version of Sonic Generations. You still have my PlayStation 2, by the way. I do, yeah. Do you want it? Yeah, actually, more I want my copy of Persona 4 just to make sure it's safe. Keep it secret. Keep it, safe. keep it secret. Keep it safe. What is that? What is that for? Is that like a, is that talking about your dick? It's from Lord of the Rings. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was like a, like a chastity thing. Also, <laughs> and Andy still has my copy of God of War 1. Like a fucking asshole. Ah! I'm still not done with Persona 4, but yeah. also most of what I played but, I mean, was on an emulator. Are you really ever, are you ever truly done with Persona 4? Yes, when you finish it. That's true, yeah. Fuck, why, is it, why doesn't he jump? What? The hell was that shit? That was some, I don't know. That was some baloney. Was some fucking, gotta escape. I just watched Lord of the Rings too. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> like, I, like just like a week and a half ago. Uh, Knuckles doesn't even have a boss in the fourth level of this game. That's weird. Why not? I don't know. He just, he just doesn't. It might only be one act, too. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> they should just make a Sonic Generations 2. Like, there's enough awesome levels from these classic games. That's what pissed me off the most about Generations. That Why make a second one when you can just make DLC? <laughs> because they're not doing that either. They're not? Did they announce that? Keith. Yeah? It's Sega. It's what do you mean? Japan. So, oh, speaking of Sega, I've been playing Fantasy Star Online 2 in Japanese. Well, no, we were just about to end this. Uh, okay, well then I'll talk about it someday. Talk about it. Oh, yeah, wow. Wait a second. Yeah? 
there is a, a very good chance you have already talked about it. No. Oh, no. Oh, my God. My brain just split uh, in half. Well, we're done with this. We're going to go play uh, <laughs> Sonic Color to the D. It's all about fucking with time. <laughs> So, are we... We're almost done with this, so I just want to say real quick that I've watched the uh, ah! the episode of Doctor Who uh, where they go and go and hang out with oh, uh, wait, Van Gogh wait. twice. I cried both times. True wow, story. you are a pussy. Um, At anyways, the end? Come on, that's the I'm, that's the I'm sad totally thing kidding. I'm totally kidding. Um, speaking of Doctor Who and fucking with time... Yeah? Wait, actually, that's it's not as if those are two disparate things. <laughs> <laughs> but um that that YouTube video that came out it was a conversation with my 12 year old self uh -huh. everyone should go watch that because it's fucking yeah. hilarious so when you linked that to me it had like 300 and something views I mean I'm sure that it had a million but they just hadn't yeah it hadn't had updated enough. yeah it was like uh, like the next day I went and we watched it and it had been it was up to like three point yeah it, in its first day it had like it said 300 views but if you looked at the likes it had like 5500 likes yeah it was great yeah they, it was, it's called a conversation with myself like 20th anniversary 20th, yeah 20th anniversary it was conversation with myself some today. some guy like when he was 12. I guess he basically made a home video. He made like it it basically looked like it was a skit that kind of played off of the idea of having a one-sided conversation with yourself in the future. Like I'm going to record myself now and then it's like I'm talking with myself in the future, but yeah. then he took that and like used it to like cut it up into a, an actual video of him talking with himself in the past/future. Slash future really it was whatever. really good. Really good. Yeah. The end was touching. What the Doctor Who thing? No, no, not that. Um, that was just like it was like I don't draw much. Anymore. Oh yeah, that yeah. was that uh, was great. <laughs> if that was something that that kid drew, I think it was. It was he's really good. He's an artist, Keith. Yeah, but he was like ten. Twelve. Twelve. Still, I couldn't do that. Uh, I can barely draw a stick figure. Right. Since you're, you're not an artist. Uh. Oh. oh, what the fuck? Oh. That was bullshit. But uh, we probably don't need to see the rest of this. No. So, hey, you know uh, what you never think about? Oh, God, what? I, when can this end? When, when I'm done talking about how, like, it's hard to consider anyone who's still alive a poet. Like, it kind of always seems that to be a poet, you also have to be dead. I didn't know that. I don't know. No, I mean, you can be a poet now. It's just, like, Where am weird. I? Like, Why am I, I, I not... Where'd I go? I'm still fl... <laughs> 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 like, it's I, it's hard to consider anyone who's, like, I'm, like, this 28-year-old dude. Like, yeah, I'm a poet. Yeah, fucking sure you are. Right. It's like, you're not a poet. You write poetry yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you write poetry. Yeah. Even if they're really great, like if somebody, like I wouldn't believe anybody's a poet unless they're like dead or pretty what close. If, to what it. if they've published a book of poetry? People publish books all the time. Well, I mean, just because they're not. I mean, they not to say that they are a good poet, but I mean they. Right. They are kind of like how like you can they you are, can be a plumber and still be like bad at plumbing. Right. Okay. But if you published a book on plumbing, I guess I just kind of. Maybe it's that I'm I'm thinking. I that do make a living as, pl as as a plumber. It's like lots of people plumb. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you. Yeah, I've I, used a plunger. I think it's whatever. Maybe, maybe it's because like I was considering the, uh, I was kind of considering a poet to be someone who's good at poetry. Right. Uh, yeah. You, yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of bad poets. So yeah, uh, you're right. You can be a you can be a living poet as long as you're bad at it. So that's uh that's it that's this game yeah that's enough of a uh, look back at are we doing generations cuz i'm pumped we've been doing generations i've been doing generations how do you not understand how this works are we going to are we going to go back to generations the game that we've been going back and forth from yeah. for a while now yes yes that is exactly what's going to happen now after this yeah. will be generations the game that we've been playing the yeah. entire time yep Sonic Colors, Sonic Colors DS, Generations, in that order. 
<laughs> Do you get it? Do you get that it wasn't in that order? Fuck. What? I wanted to make some kind of one-line reference to a movie that involves time travel, but I couldn't pull anything. Um... Time... Just make up one. 88 miles an hour! 